running a little late and running early at the same time because this episode is originally supposed to start at 12.45. Yeah, yeah. One of the guys is having little technical difficulties, but uh, he'll get on here when he gets on here. He's going to be on here, though. But huge shout-out to Dadpool. Look at it. This is fucking early. This is before the show again. Look at this. See what time it is? It was at... Uh, 11.54, 11.55. Yo, Sturdy, please send James get well wishes. What's going on with James? He injured himself. He hurt himself. Doing what? Never mind. Doing my business. <laughs> I'll tell you off the air. It's nothing weird, believe it or uh, not. Okay. Doing gymnastics in the bed. <laughs> oh, man. He was reading out loud and walking down the hall. Went down the stairs. <laughs> it was the sound effects for me. Holy shit. But yeah, we're here tonight to review the movie Hell Night, which came out in, I believe, in 1981, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this movie right here. 81. No, it's not 81. 84, 89. What year was it? It's just throwing out. Oh, I got the blue right here. Let's see if it's on here. I, I think it's 81. It. I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. Don't say that. What part? Not being wrong. Oh, yeah. I'm a man. Men aren't wrong. You're mm-hmm. right. Uh, survey says... Can I find it? Let me just IMDB it. This motherfucker Henry's over here recording from his room because he's on punishment. Oh, <laughs> I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable. Uh-huh. That's what everybody says. I'm comfortable. You, you, what I want. you wish you were right here. No, I don't. <laughs> oh, yeah. shit. It is 1981. I got, I got a pillow big enough for your big ass head. I don't want to get in bed with you. You're always welcome, buddy. I appreciate that, though. Keep my hands to myself this time. Mm hmm. This is how this episode's fucking starting. This is wild. This no, is I'll, wild. I'll show you a hell night. But, uh, <laughs> oh, wow, I no, do that. have an intro. Yeah, hell night with a hell fest. Let, let me let me uh let me let me drop this quick ad. And then I'm gonna drop the intro. Actually, let me drop this quick ad. Let me drop the intro. State, a celebration of games and the people who make them, is coming to New York's Tech Valley region. Visit OneUpState.com for more information. Ah, swooping was 30. Here we go. Here's the intro. Be ready like spaghetti and Freddy. What's up, people? It's your boy, Sir 30. Here I am. Here I am. Rocking this awesome Any Last Word shirt. Huge shout out to you, Joe. Hurry up. Bring the show back. We miss it. We need it. But tonight, today, whatever you want to call it, we're about to review the movie Hell Night. You guys are going to have one hell of a night with us. Stay tuned. Stay put. Like, share, subscribe. All that other good stuff. And uh, welcome to the madness. Welcome to the madness. Welcome to the motherfucking madness. Yeah. Where'd you get the glasses? Over here. Dr. Zhivago. Nice. You know, did you steal them from a little kid? Nah. Yeah, he did. I want to win a contest. <laughs> he goes, girl, I want those. <laughs> nah, I got them from the dollar store, Dollar Tree. I got it. So here, you know, you got to treat yourself to some silly shit sometimes just to throw on, just because. Yeah, you should see my, my top drawer. I, I I don't know how I should. I, see, I've known you for how many <laughs> for about 30 years now. If not, yeah, give more, or take. More or less. Please. And I, I feel like since day story. one, I've I've just known not to look in your top drawer, Don't. especially when you like offer it. It's just like, no, nah, there's gonna be something weird. In I mean, there. do what you want. I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah, see, look at that. I like that. There Those I want art, man yeah. of culture, right there. Dollar store. Yes, that's up awesome. Order. that's awesome. And Henry, I know, like I know you way too well to just. Mm-mm. Oh, I don't. I don't have a mask or anything. Uh, but I, I have this. And I'm bringing this when I go to meet Heather Langenkamp. He scared me. I thought he'd never be pants on. I know. I was like, oh, oh god. god. 
Well, technically, I don't. They're shorts. Well, you know what I mean. Thought you were in the ro- Oh shit! That's I'm nice. Talking, Freddy. That's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. That's awesome. She's gonna sign that for you. Uh, no, I'm gonna take a picture with her and just hold it. If you oh. pulled enough times, it says the N-word. <laughs> yeah. That's great. Oh man. Oh man, that's cool though. <sighs> I'll put those on my gremlin. <sighs> How many feet did you have to rub to earn that? <laughs> Not enough, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I don't even know how to take that. <laughs> I found one in an antique store and I picked it up. The box was pretty much dented up, but still, it's pretty cool. Nice. Yeah. You can find them all over the place, which is kind of neat. Yeah, I, I got it from my boss, actually. I bought it off him. Sweet. I actually got that Robert England documentary in my uh, Amazon wish list. So hopefully when it becomes available, I'll pick it up. I didn't see it yet. I know of it. It's on um, Screenbox, right? It's either Screenbox or it's on Shutter. I don't know exactly which one it is. But for me, of course, I gotta buy the physical. <laughs> I have I have both, so I do I can watch it. I just uh, I forgot which one it was on, to be honest with you. There's so much stuff out all the time to watch, and it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Screen box, it's awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna have to check that out. Do you guys have screen box? Uh no, I don't. No. All right. We'll talk. Don't worry. <laughs> Screenbox, that's like a horror version of uh, Netflix, right? Yep. Yes, sir. And it has... a horror ver- is it a horror version of Shudder? Yeah. Same thing <laughs> as Shudder. But, well, but the thing is, though, it has a lot more like independent movies than all the other ones do have. Like, There's a lot more movies you've never heard of. Well, besides Matt, because he's seen every damn movie in the world. But oh, I have not. <laughs> but, uh, you know, there's a, there's a lot of shit on there. There's a lot of shit on there. So I'm like, why, you know, why not? Why not? <clears throat> but uh, I guess we can dive on into Hell Night. First Hell time night. watch for me. For Same sure. to you, what about you, Matt? I've seen it a couple times. Got the Scream Factory Blu ray here. Nice. Nice. Hell yeah. Good special features to it. Yeah, I uh <clears throat> I didn't mind this movie. Um I'll think about my, I'm gonna give it a little, little bit and think about my rating some before I jump out there with a rating, but it was it wasn't bad. It just I wish there was more kills in it, or like more on-screen kills. Well, the the first, the very first kill, like if you blink, you would have missed it. True. True. Oh, the head chop. Was yeah. Laugh. <laughs> they weren't bad kills, but I guess like you're saying, it was too quick. It just didn't. I don't know. But they weren't bad kills. I have an okay body count. There's some other slashers from the 80s that have like <laughs> like one to like two to insane. Mm-hmm. But this one actually wasn't bad. No, no starting Linda Blair. Yeah, she had she had some nice uh, features, acting skills. <laughs> that too. We'll use Showed off the ladies a little bit. Yeah, I wasn't mad. Oh, hey, Ava. What are you doing? Ah, there we go. You got him. There he is. Say hi, Ava. (laughs) My cat's looking down to a... Weird. Okay. She's like staring through a chair, but through the table. Yeah, she has... My cat has weird ways of showing her love. (laughs) Showing her love. Yeah. She's Show me your love. It's 
Let me check out my notes. Your nose? Your nubs? I took notes. Oh, oh no, taking notes. No I said nubs. Nigga, I always do. <laughs> it's been so long. It has been. <sighs> Not thinking you are gonna be on to your like forty. I honestly I fell asleep. I know. When I called, I could tell the way you woke up. Matt was like, he sounds like he just woke up. <laughs> I, I, I really did. I was I was just playing uh, Fortnite with the kids, and then I just kind of dozed off. I know what you did. You laid your old ass down or sat down in a too comfortable of a spot, too, too, a spot that was way too comfortable? Laid down. Oof, oh, out. You know better than that. Yeah, sometimes you just got to take a nap. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? Let's see. Mm-hmm. Naps are power nap when you get older. I love naps. I wish I could take more of them. I wish we could take them at work. I think that should be mandatory. An hour for yeah. lunch and an hour for naps. Who's stopping you? you Keep in a job. <laughs> the man upstairs. Mm-hmm. Literally. <laughs> get him out of here. All he does is sleep. Man, I'm tired. Get I work him. a lot. Shit. Boss, please. I'm trying to work here. Can't yeah, I cannot out. stand. I don't know what the guy's name was, but the dude with the purple cape. Mm-hmm. I couldn't stand that guy. <laughs> purple Why? cape. Oh. I was jealous of his cape. <laughs> you can get a purple cape if you really want one. Yeah, Father's Day is coming up. Anybody wants to get me one? Should that be something you should be talking about with your wife and children? Not me. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm just putting it out there, you know, for anyone. Whoa. You know what? Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I was going to ask you, what would you do with a purple cape? But I feel like there's a lot of things you can't say on the live. So there's, just... there's so many. <clears throat> the way he just slicked his hair back, you you know it's crazy. You know it's wild. I feel the po- the possibilities are just endless. People who wear their hair like that can either they they can either do one or two things. They can either fix cars or they're disgusting. And he can't fix cars. So. <laughs> I mean, I can put gas in them. That's about it. Drive them. Yeah, technically. Yo, you said that man confidently. What? Uh, yo, if you lived in New Jersey, you would even have to be able to put gas in them. Like, oh, that's right. Gas. They they pump the gas there, huh? I yeah, got yelled at in New Jersey. <laughs> trying to pump for doing that. Gas. Yeah, they don't want you. No, they don't want you doing it. Yeah, the guy was taking fucking forever. I'm like, I want to go home. So I pulled in and waited, waited, waited. I said, "Fuck this!" Got out, pumped my own gas. Got finished, and guy's like, "What are you doing?" Blah blah blah. I'm like, "Dude, I'm already done. <laughs> Paid, pumped, and I'm out of here. Fuck you. You're taking too long. Hell yeah, slow Fuck ass Alan. fucker, cock knocker. Pretty much." <laughs> I realize you can't pump your own gas. I'm like, oh well. Maybe if you move your feet, you know, start pumping, let's go. <laughs> That's what my wife says. <laughs> We're pumping, let's go. Yeah. Pumping and let's go. That's, that's the way you get the gears pumping. going. Pump up pump. the volume. Pump, pump the jam. Eat and toe jam. Pump I also hate New Jersey. All the, what are they called? The people? No. <laughs> <laughs> now the roads the are they like jar handles or whatever they are, like handles that go make you always do these fucking loop the loops. I don't know. What a pain in the ass. You can't just turn left and go down. No, you have to go right and you have to go further up, do this loop. Go oh, around, yeah. Go loop. Yep. Yep. It's stupid. I know it exactly is. what you're talking about because we were, when we were there for the um, Friday the 13th, 13th thing, Friday the 13th, not 13th. Friday the thirteenth. <laughs> you guys know what I'm trying to say. That day. Yeah, you know. Hey, what you Friday the thirteenth? Yeah, that. Um, we had this. We had to make a left. Or we had to make a right to make a left. It was fucking stupid. Like you go, it's like half a roundabout. You wait at a light, then you go across, and then go. Oh, that, that just sounds stupid. Yeah. Like Mark had to do that. Fucking peckerhead. But uh, piece of shit. Cause it made, cause what it did too is it made you feel like you miss your fucking turn every mm-hmm. time. You're like, what the fuck? I mean, how did I miss it? There's nowhere. Where am I? Oh, I have to go around this way. Oh wow, this makes sense. 
Yeah, Able. you could turn left and you go to, it's right there. Nope. Yep. You can't do that. Spitch fuck. <laughs> Fucking Jersey. But I mean, Blairstown <laughs> is worth going for, and so is the Friday the 13th, you know, that thing. That's worth going for. Not gonna lie to you guys. Yeah, I'm gonna try to make a plan to do that sometime. Yeah, we should all go. Fun. We should all go to one of these haunts and do a little tour thing, you know, at night. Definitely. Yeah, Some brave men, soldiers. Their shirts off. <laughs> we don't have to have our shirts off. I don't think that's allowed either. Anyway. Uh, hey, as long as our pants are not off, that's okay. I, yeah. That, dang. You know about that? Also, you start walking in, you hear ding, 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 ding. You're like, oh, fuck. Oh, yeah. You hear that? Henry Steele first. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm going first. They're going to want that chocolate. Nope. Mm-hmm. Boy, you got a pretty mouth. Yeah, he does. That boy with the pretty hair, and that's you. (laughs) (laughs) And you're getting braids, too. Oh, man. I'm going to run my fingers through your hair. Wow. Got him. All right. Yeah, yeah. Back to the movie. Back to the movie. <laughs> what were you saying? What would you have written down for, it, Henry? Oh, I just I put thirsty dude in purple cape. Do not like. Oh, <laughs> well, you really did not like you. You made uh, sure you wrote that down. That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. That was the first note I took. And the second one is uh, cold as a house pecker. So. <laughs> Love so what were they? Were they transforming like into? Were they supposed to be like werewolves, or just some sort of monsters? I didn't even get that far. There's werewolves in this? No. Oh, they're like mongoloids. Mongoloids. It was just one. Mm-mm. There's a couple of them. Told mm. you. See, I was falling asleep. Two. That's because you're. Yeah, did you hear this, like down. when you told the story in the beginning when they were going into uh, the gate into the manor? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Telling the story about how Andrew something formed. And uh, he had another kid that was possibly kind of deformed, and he kind of murdered everybody in front of him. And they mm-hmm. didn't, uh, one survived. Technically, the other one survived too. So they've been living down in the basement or into the hidden catacombs of this mansion. And uh, that's like when they had all the bodies lined up downstairs when they found them. Okay. I'll have to watch it again. <laughs> Yeah, I got these weird, like, mongoloid-type uh, killers. They're the ones that mm-hmm. are going around. It's, it, it sounds like at first, like, when the first kill occurs, he sounds more like, the, you think it's like a monster, kind of? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and all you but see is actually... the arm and the hand. Yep. Yep. <sighs> but there's a very cool scene with uh, Linda Blair and the other guy. They're in the bedroom. And hey. all of a sudden, they're talking, and the rug starts lifting up behind oh, yeah, them. yeah, yeah. He hit him with the pitchfork. Yep. Matter of fact, I can put the movie on right now. <laughs> Fast forward to the end part. Yeah, just uh, mute it for copyright uh, purposes. I don't want my PP smacked by then. Yeah, it's kind of, I thought it was interesting the whole initiation for a uh, college fraternities. Matt, you want me to let you in on a little secret? What? That's not Henry's real hair. That's a toupee. You can shut up. <laughs> <laughs> He's really balding on top. He just grows hair on the sides and the back. It's all his hair from his ass that he tried to glue together and put on his head. So like he gets a, he gets a toupee. He has one like that where his hair is all slicked back. And he has one with his hair in corn rolls. <laughs> he just swaps him out every few days or every few weeks. Whenever he feels like swapping his hair out and doing something different, that's what he just he goes, goes to the hair salon toupee. and asks the girls, mm-hmm. "Yo, sweet chocolate, hook me up with a a couple of braids or hook me up with that long black." Long ass oh. hair there. Add some extensions <laughs> onto it. You said, yo, sexual chocolate. <laughs> yo, Caramel, come over here. Who's, is Henry referring to himself as sexual chocolate? No, they call me Caramel Crunch. <laughs> <laughs> he was telling the girl that it was, she was sexual chocolate. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm not, oh, my gosh. This Caramel Crunch. Caramel. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's what they do. Stick a weave onto his head, caramel, and toasted coconut. 
A little sprinkle here. And Google there. that. Oh. You could not deny that one. That shit was funny. There you go, boo. You're all set. Now I got your wig going on. Google what? Co- toasted coconut. Oh, yeah. 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 That was legit. Yeah. <laughs> you, got, you got nothing to say about that. You're like, yep. Yeah, it was... Some people are right about shit. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, there was like those weird mongoloids. They didn't bother me too much. They didn't look too bad. They almost look like um, <laughs> bootleg Jason from Part Two. In Castle Part Freak. Two. It's just Castle it's Freak. Castle Freak kind of reminded me of that. The whole movie had a feel for me like Castle Freaks meets or yeah, Castle Freak meets um, Nine of the Demons, mm. with like the Halloween, you know, with the Halloween theme. Mm-hmm. I never seen Castle Freaks, but I didn't see Nine of the Demons. Yeah, Castle Freak is good. The remake, eh? But uh, the original is pretty good. Let's check it out. Yeah, Full Moon put out that one. Bar- Bar- uh, Barbara Camper? Barbara Crampton. Yeah, she's in it, right? Yep. Did you show any bush? Uh, don't Hang on. That. Before you answer that question, no. you made that shit so weird. Does she show any bush? Before he even responded, you pulled your camera closer. <laughs> well. I can hear him better. <laughs> can you hear the TV? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I like the way she looked in um from beyond there. I didn't see that. Oh, you want to see a cool scene of Barbara Crampton in sexy black lingerie and shit like that? He's like, really? <laughs> Hold on, I'm about to pull up. What's it called? She does not age. From beyond. From, from beyond. the 80s. It's got Ken Foray in it. It's got Barbara Crampton. And um, we're gonna do that in two oh, weeks. Oh, we you know, we gotta do that in a couple of weeks. We gotta do um, hang on, God, I keep forgetting. Oh, yeah, Jeff Jeffrey Combs, Jeffrey Combs, Bunny Summers, huge. Uh, it's based on an HP Lovecraft film, but uh, Barbara Crampton, oh, yeah, damn sexy in the movie. Matt, oh, what, what's the no, movie no. that you said was similar to mm-hmm. Chopping Mall that we were supposed to do a couple of weeks ago? Oh, um, we have. Nice areola to nipple ratio. Evolver was one. Evolver? Evolver, which was the killer robot toy uh, that looks like similar to the robot from Chopping Mall. Uh, okay. You have movies that take place in malls. You have Initiation, uh, Phantom of the Mall, Eric's Revenge, which are both flashers. <laughs> um, That's with Eric. All right, just, all right, just send me a list. <laughs> just send me a list. I'm going to save these on our wheel thing. <laughs> when you get a chance, because I know you know some dope ass movies. If you could send the covers, that's even better. If you can't find them, I'll see if I can try to resend those covers to you. Because spooning with sturdy, <laughs> spooning with sturdy. Oh yeah. Who said that? Uh, Deadpool. <laughs> that's what that's what the viewers want to see here. Mm-hmm. Spooning with sturdy. I mean, my wife's sleeping. I'm, yeah, he spoons with himself. Can you hear it? No. Nah. He okay. has a giant pillow with a Jason on it that he spoons. I do gotta start wearing my Jason mask for some content. I got yeah, one. I sent this to you up over here. I have a couple of them. Maybe I should wear my one that glows too for a couple seconds here and there. Put one on the front of your head and the back. I'm do that for a little bit too. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty yeah. I think it's a good idea. Well, that cape's not purple. It's blue. I hear it now. God damn it. Well, I was on. Okay. How about now? Who's he? Who's he supposed to be? Mork? Bobby. One Bobby of the Digital. twins. No, Remember Billy and Bobby? Digital. Well, not that Bobby. The twins. Uh, Schenectady twins that live by Aunt Beth. One of them having a kid? Yeah. Billy. This month. Hey, Bob. Why? July, I mean, next month. Shabba. Uh, that was I going to look up. But yeah, I'll look up some other uh, right. uh, ball-related films, and yeah, I'll send you the Evolver again. It was a sci-fi channel movie that was done in the late 90s, maybe early 2000s. Oof. This one right here, you ever see this one, Matt? A lot of face touching. Which one? Right here on the hide and go streak. Yep, hide and go streak. That's another one that's uh 
in the mall. I keep forgetting the name of it all the time. It's a very low budget, like low 80s uh, slasher. It's kind of weird, but it's cool. Nano Nano. Yeah, it's a furniture shop, yeah. But it kind of feels like a big mall. Because it's all one store. Yo, one looks like I he's still 15 feel... In it. <laughs> the, oh, what was it called? Was it Intruder? No, no. Was it Intruder? Intruder was the grocery store one. That one was so freaking good. That one was so like I highly recommend that. I highly, highly recommend that. Like that, as a matter of fact, that movie there definitely, definitely gets the Surf Thirty stamp of approval because <laughs> that movie was. Yeah, I think you texted me or called me right after you watched it. Yeah, and I watched it. And you did watch it two or three times. That's just good. That's just good. And I'd, I'd watch it again. I'd definitely watch it again, which I probably should watch it again soon because it's good. You've seen it before, right, Matt, right? Which one? Um, Intruder? No, never have. Really? No, I'm just kidding. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I've talked about a lot. <laughs> oh. I even a young Bruce Campbell in it at the end, too. Yep. Which was funny. It's, it's based on his uh, Rami did did a short story based on it, and then they made a full movie Groove. based on Intruder. And they made it work. Yeah. They made it work. Come on, it's got some of the cool death scenes ever. A guy does. getting sawed in half by a What, you saw, hooker? Killed by a garbage yeah. cr- uh, crusher and cardboard crusher. and Yeah, oh, it's so much shit. So much, and me like we're having worked in retail and having worked in the back room and shit. You've seen so many of these tools and shit, and you've used so many of these tools to you know crush the cardboard and all that shit. You're just like, damn. This they made another movie. movie called Intruder, done in the late seventies. It's kind of almost like a giallo type thing where they're at an island and uh, yeah. a bunch of people are getting picked off one at a time by uh, Hitman. Oh shit! Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's called the intruder. Intruder. Intrude her? Me. What about it, Pooper? I said intrude her. No, don't even know her. Mm-mm. Fair enough. <laughs> fair, fair enough. So, what would you guys rate this movie? What's your guys rating for this movie, Hell Night? Uh, Who wants to start it off? Don't be scared. I'll go first. No. Only because I didn't finish it, but from what from what I did see, it was very like bland. The, the acting isn't all that good. I mean, the, the best part of the best part about it is uh, what's her name? Re- yeah, she's easy on the eyes. <laughs> That's fair. What See, I like a five. I guess like four and a half. Four and a half. About you, miggity, 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 Matt. Hmm. See, I go, I'm a lot higher on it because I like the slasher. I give it like about a 7.5 out of 10. Uh, I dig the the storyline, how it takes place all in this weird gothic like mansion. Uh, it takes place during Halloween, which is another one I like. Uh, got some interesting things that make you laugh and make you wonder what the fuck's going on. And then you got the cool uh, two killers. Which uh, they usually don't do a lot in the eighties. They usually had <clears> just <throat> one person going in a mask or a slasher. Yeah, it's pretty or, straightforward. Yep, mm-hmm. run the mill, but still, I, I kind of like. It. I like how they plays off and everything, especially where that one part where the guy comes in and he disappears. You don't hear from him. You don't see anything. You just see the gun come flying on the ground. You're like, is he alive? Is he dead? What's going on? And finally, he dies. <laughs> Robin Hood. Hmm. Yeah, this movie. I gave it a five and a half. I gave it five point five. It wasn't. It wasn't bad. Um, it was decent. It was. The score isn't that good. No. Yeah. Yeah. Just for me, it's just kind of bland. I think this was the director's first film too. For a first film, it's not bad. Yeah. But I mean, a five, five and a half isn't isn't a bad score either. Because again, remember, I go all the way from. Negative ten to a positive ten, so a five and, and a half positive is a really good score. Yeah, and you, know, you got to remember also at this time there's a lot of slasher movies out. Oh, there's yeah. a lot of competition. Hell yeah. one came out a ton. I mean, in the, this came out in eighty one. Th- just uh, just in the eighties alone, I'll say late seventies, early eighties alone. 
let's say from 78 to 81. There was probably a ton of them that came out within those years. Slashers. Yep. And then, mm-hmm. yeah. of course, a hell of a lot more after that. But just those just those few years. Big so balls. you got to really make it stand out. And I, I can't say this one did. It's not bad. It's right. not you want a, do you want a bad, bad slasher from the 80s? Hmm? If you want a bad slasher from the 80s, check out Doom Asylum. Oh. Doom Asylum? Yeah. Again, Matt, just, just send me a list, please, when you get a chance. Got the girl from uh, Sex in the City in there. I'll send it on a uh, messenger, actually. Ugly one? Easier. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, the one with the black hair. Uh, I'm like, I'm like I know her name. I know. But uh, yeah, I she's, she's, <laughs> she's in it. It's like one of her first uh, movie roles. There's, there's a lot of weird characters. If we're talking about weird characters, there's one weird dude in this with his baseball cards. <laughs> Does he have nice hair? Mm, no. Does that matter? <laughs> For Henry, it does because he wants a copy and make a wig out of it. See, that's true. Matt knows. Yeah, but yeah, five, like I said, five and a half, not bad, not bad at all. It's it's worth a watch. It's worth at least a one time watch. Will I go back to it? Probably not. Like if it was maybe for background noise, if it was on. But as far as me going back to watch it, I don't see a reason, honestly. Just for what? It, was, it wasn't a bad watch. Yes, it wasn't a bad watch though. But what do you guys think? What do you guys think out there in the comments? If you guys have seen this movie, what are your guys' ratings? What do you guys feel about this movie? Do you enjoy it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let us know. Let us know. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. There's no wrong answers. <clears throat> There's no wrong answers. Matt looks like he's about to say some shit. Well, no, I'll say if you got the Blu-ray, <clears throat> it's got some cool features, like including uh, interviews with uh, Linda Blair... Tom decides more, which was the director. Um, you got some trailers, some more uh, interviews, some TV spots. So you got some cool features to it. So if you like the der- interviews and shit, definitely get the Scream, Scream Factory Blu-ray of the Hell Knight. Nice. That cover is so freaking cool. Yeah. It's simple, but it's cool. This is the original uh, DVD artwork with her. Yes. Climbing up the uh, the gate. This is the new, newly commissioned that they did. That's dope, too. I thought for sure Linda Blair's character was going to be behind something. Just just from how, like, <clears throat> how uninterested she seems in everything. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and she wasn't. She just didn't want to be at the party. She, just, she was like, eh, this is not for me, the whole... Yeah, because she wanted to go hang out with Rick James instead. <laughs> Wouldn't you want to hang out with Rick James well, back in the day if you were old anymore. enough? So, hmm? I said, "Well, I don't smoke crack anymore." Well, I mean, if you well, what what year was that? Like in the eighties? Eighty-one. I was, I was negative four. Well, let's say you were instead of negative four, you were twenty-four. <laughs> no, you would have been on some wild shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bloody yep. fuck this weed shit! Check out crack. Check out, check out them cocaine. Old Rick James. Oh, I shit. them rocks. I feel good. Nee, 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 nee. Nice I smoke good. <laughs> I guess there's oh, some like shit. topless uh, video pictures of uh, Linda Blair with uh, Rick James out there in the internet. Oh yeah, there is. Hell yeah. 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 He. Uh, he. That song "Cold Blooded" is about her. Yeah. Really. Uh huh. And he claimed that he gave her her first orgasm. Who do you believe? I believe Rick James. Linda Blair. Rick. <laughs> James. He'd probably hang out with oh, Joe Crosby. See, wait, there it is, right there. Wow, yeah. that's easy. Well, I can't show it, Henry, because I'm, you know, I'm kind of doing a live. Well, no, the, no, no, you don't see her nipples. You see his nipples. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Remember when she was at a Scaricon? Uh, mm-hmm. I guess a couple years. I guess she got so pissy because there was pictures of uh, Rick Springfield. 
I guess she dated Rick Springfield too. Mm. And he was going to be at a concert at the Turning Stone. And of course, there was more pictures of him around than her. And she was like all bitchy during the whole con and being all prim, uh, you know, prissy and bitchy. Yeah. Oh. I was like, wow. That's crazy. Like, that's not our fault. I didn't set this I shit know. up. You guys were there? Was it the one in Rochester? No, the one in uh, Turning Stone. I don't remember. Bring it back, Scarecon. What's that? I don't think it's coming back. Is ever going to bring it back? I I'm probably so. not. I, I wish, but it does. The, I I highly doubt it. They did I, a weird. Uh, we're at the last one, then that's cool. The, oh, yeah. the, they did like a weird, like uh, something's coming and nothing's ever happened. Like they don't Mm-mm. respond to people, which I don't like. They don't, like if you're asking, hey, is there any news about Scarecon? And it's like nothing. It's easy just to say no. Yeah, just say we're done. <clears throat> All done. Did you Rick James, Linda Blair. <laughs> All done. But I think now Sci Fi Horror Fest has taken over, which is great because we need a convention around here. We do. We do. We really, really do. Because it, it, I mean, I don't mind traveling to some. Like next year, I plan on going to uh, Carolina Fear Fest down. I think it's in Charlotte, North Carolina. So I plan on going down there, but probably staying there for like two weeks, maybe a little more. Travel down there, hang out. Visit some family, see my stepdaughter. So, you know, again, visit some family, go to the con, and kind of head back home. Take my time heading back home. And there yeah. You go. Hell yeah. Yeah, but I want to go to that con. So, try to go to that one. Uh, I don't, next year, I have no idea. I have no idea. But Sci Fi Horror Fest, I'll be there that Saturday. Are you going to be there, Deadpool? Be there. Deadpool's gonna be a sci- uh, sci-fi horror vest. I'll I'm be there. I'm, I'm being there. I'm actually a guest there. Bill Cosby. Just don't leave your drink out. <laughs> uh, uh, don't leave anything. Don't out. accept any drinks from him. Pudding. Oh, I want some cheese, Lolo. So, Henry, that means if you're out there dancing on the dance floor, Bill Cosby. Hey, you thirsty, son? Yeah. i like, man, just give me the pill. It's just give that's me the awesome. Pill. <laughs> Thank you. Not that. This. Oh. <laughs> Deadpool said him and his son have a crazy cosplay for playing for the fest. Nice. Awesome. Can't wait to see it. Can't wait to see it. Make sure you come say what's up. Hopefully we can, hopefully we'll run into each other. I'm sure we will. Mm-hmm. And don't forget to check out this guy's table, Matt. He's uh giving out autographs. He's taking pictures of his feet and then autographing it. If you want a picture of that, it's free. <laughs> and also, I'll, be sell, I'll be selling movies too so don't worry about that i'll be selling yeah, movies too feet feet pictures are free <laughs> hand pictures are free and he signed them that's, that's a wild sign thing. with my nose <laughs> i'll stick a micro right on my nose and be like here you go do, 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 do. Yeah, but all joking aside of course i gotta bust this chocolate it's dope that my boy matt is gonna be our boy Matt is going to be a guest at uh, Sci Fi Horror Fest. I forgot what it was called for a minute, which is dope. <laughs> so he has a table and all this other stuff. It's going to be dope. It's dope. I'm happy for him. I'm so excited. I can't wait. I can't wait either. So we got to go there. Time, the opposite side of the table. Blow that con up. Make sure we show Matt some love so he can. So this can be a thing he can do yearly and at multiple cons where they're like, uh, hey, where is it? Where is the con? Vernon Downs? It's not too far from where Scarecon was originally, like not too far from the Turning Stone and stuff. Okay. Yeah, it's Vernon Downs. Uh, it's another casino re- and uh, resort, but it's a smaller casino, but it's mostly <clears throat> there for uh, horse racing. Yep. <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> it's I'm a small, up. it's actually the, uh, they're tearing down walls there and they're actually expanding the con room where it was a little smaller last year. This year they're having it bigger. Mm. They're gonna have a an escape room available to check out. They're adding a bunch of other shit, so it's gonna be a lot bigger this time. So I can't wait. Nice, 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 nice. I'll yeah, probably I go Thursday that. early just to help set up, since I'll be nice. off. Nice. Volunteer yeah, my time. I'm uh, I'm happy about this con. I'm happy for you too, man. I know you're gonna knock Thanks. it out the park. It's gonna be dope, though. It's gonna be fun. And hopefully Henry can come to the next one or the one after that. 
depending on how much he spends on his hair products every year. <laughs> Maybe he'll find something that's just magnificent, magnificent and cheap. I haven't, I haven't calculated yet. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you could put eggs in your hair. Yeah, yep. well, I'll be. Uh, I get a VIP, so I'll be at the uh, the VIP party. That, I'm still trying to beat what I want to dress up as, but I'll figure out something. Matt will be at the VIP. I will not be at the VIP this year. Um, I was going to go for the whole weekend for the VIP and all that stuff, but for those of you, if you're fans of Impractical Jokers, which I am and my wife uh, is. Yeah, she is too. She am. You guys know what I mean. She am, for sure am. Yeah, she definitely am. So... We're going to see uh, Sal's coming to the Funny Bone out by us, so we're going to see him. Oh, Sal Bacano? Yeah, that Friday night we're going to see him and doing stand-up. Nice. And I got VIP. I don't know what the hell that means for there. So we'll see what happens. We get there a little early and have a good time. And then Saturday we're going to go to the con. So we'll be there for the day Saturday, but we're not going to be. There's no. I think the VIP thing's Friday night anyway. So Yeah, yeah the VIP party's Friday night, but. But it'll be cool to say what's up, man. That'll be cool to see you know, all that good stuff. What happened? Sal smokes. I know. Me too. I think they all do. Wouldn't surprise me <laughs> that they all do. No, I don't know. It'd be funny if Murr like did some like fucking crazy shit like peyote or mescaline or some shit. <laughs> Drink a bottle of absinthe. Hell yeah. Oh no. Oh no. I wish I had some pudding right now. And with that said, people, we're going to wrap this one up. And oh, by the way, I, didn't, I don't think I told you guys. I don't belong. Mm-mm, don't say that. No, no, that's what Bill Cosby says, not me. <laughs> Next week, we'll be reviewing The Sawyer Massacre. You can go check it out over on their YouTube channel. Go check it out on YouTube. Watch it yourselves. Join the review, join the fun. But uh, we're going to get on out of here, guys. You have a great night. Oh, check out HorrorResearch30.com and check out you and your horror movies over on YouTube. Link is in the description. You guys have a great night. I'll see you in your nightmares. Peace. Deuces. Don't fall asleep with a bubble gum in your mouth. It gets in your hair. You may have to cut it. Henry mm-hmm. would go nuts if he woke up with the gum in his hair. He'd probably cry. Peace. That happened to me when 